What's up? What's up? What's up, people? Of course, I am DJ Cash, and I am back with the regular show review of Dump Town USA. You see, I'm trying to be all happy because I was just so depressed throughout this episode. I mean, it was just depressing. I mean, am I right? Now, we kick off the episode with, of course, we all know Eileen and Rippy are apparently dating now, which still is shocking to me. I lost a ton of money because of that. Now, as we got into the episode, um, apparently Mordecai is missing. Nobody's seen him for two weeks, people. Two weeks. I mean, don't they file police reports for that? Like, is it, and it, you're supposed to find a person within 48, after 48 hours? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, and apparently, like, Rippy, of course, being the best friend that he is, has to find Mordecai or else he will get fired, in Benson's words, by, by tomorrow morning. Now, as we got into the episode, Rippy, he's trying to find him. Mordecai, and apparently he sees a postcard that says Dump Town US of A, and Benson explains it's a pla it's a magical place where the guys who get dumped by their girlfriends get to go on and just relax with the dudes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and apparently Benson went there about five times as we found out, but and one most recently. Yeah, so um, apparently he now Rigby finds that he has to go there in order to bring Mordecai back, and the only way for him to go there is for him to get dumped, for him to get dumped, and then that was weird. Like, no offense, but I wish they could have did that better between the breakup. Like, I didn't even like the way Eileen kind of went off on Rigby personally. I mean, like. It was to help Mordecai out. I mean, it was helping out to bring him back. And she was, like, making a big deal more than it already was. And she was completely clouding on why she liked Rippy in the first place. So I didn't like that in the episode. But, yeah. And apparently, Sad Sacks returned, people. This guy was hilarious in the Sad Sacks episode. I thought he was great, even though he gave bad advice. And apparently, sending Mordecai to Dump Town, US of A, didn't help much either. And now, Satsat takes Rigby to that place. Apparently, Dumptown USA is just a small version of New York City, apparently. But yeah, as Rigby gets there, he goes into a grocery store, and then Mordecai... <laughs> this was the hilarious part of the episode. Mordecai looking like a fat hobo with dirty sweatpants, a dirty jacket, a full-grown beard. He looked like that... That Santa Claus from uh, the Amazing World of Gumball off that episode, if you know what that is. And yeah, um, apparently Mordecai, he is just so depressed that he got dumped by CJ at uh, Muscle Man's uh, wedding. And Mordecai tries to show Rigby, hey man, it's not such a bad place, but it turns out we all know it was a bad place to be. I mean, who wants to be at a place where, like, for, for all you guys out there... Would you want to be at a place like where you could just go and just relax, just after getting dumped, being around of other guys who just got dumped? That'd be a very depressing thing for me personally. And yeah, um, apparently Rigby, he gave the best advice I've ever heard him give throughout this whole regular show series. He said, so what? You got dumped by CJ. I mean, it's not the end of the world. She's just one girl. There are other chicks out there. And I was like, yes, yes, please tell him, bring him back to reality. And yes, Mordecai finally came to reality, and then like he was like, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to be live with these four lazy bums. So yeah, they get across the bridge. It was like a whole chase scene. It was only four guys, so it wasn't really much action. But yeah, he's they see Sad Sacks guy. Sad Sacks guy. He returns them to the park, and then all well and good. And thanks to Rigby, he once again saved the day like a best friend would. And then Benson, this was hilarious too. Now, take a shower, burn that jacket, <laughs> that jacket and, then t and then get back to work or you're fired. And apparently now Rigby has to solve the problem of getting back with Eileen because apparently Eileen has some issues with Rigby, even though she completely forgot why he liked him, why she liked him in the first place. So yeah, my overall thoughts on this episode I mean, for me, it was, like, too depressing to watch. I mean, like, I, I know that's probably not what the regular show creative team was going for with us, but that was a really depressing episode. I mean, like, just seeing Mordecai like that. But I will say, I do like that we got more character development out of Rick. I think that he has been the most, he's been the person who has grown the most out of all the characters in regular show. Like, he went from a lazy 
irresponsible bomb in Eileen's words, <laughs> and now he's an irresponsible, lazy bum, but he's more mature, and he knows what to say now, so yeah, definitely got some great regular show creativity out of him, love that stuff, just great stuff, as far as I'm concerned, I am DJ Cash, and this was my regular show review, see you around.